I just found a credit card statement with hotel charges from a night he was supposedly working. He told me he slept on his office floor that night but he was an hour away in a completely different town. There were also Tinder charges on the credit card. What do you even buy on Tinder? There were two charges for 6.99 each. This was all in a statement of a credit card I had never seen. The statement was in the mail this morning. He paid it online already and I bet he didn't think a paper statement would come. Where do I even go from here? He doesn't know that I know and I don't want to give him the satisfaction of seeing any emotion from me. I want him to find out when he gets served separation papers. I will be calling lawyers on Monday. The worst part is we have a one-year-old son. I feel so bad for him. We're also living in military housing so I don't know how or if I can kick him out. Or if I can leave and go back to my home state with my son. I have a good job here so I don't even know if I would want to do that. I'm sorry this post is so jumbled. I'm really in shock right now although I suppose I shouldn't be since he does have a history of talking inappropriately with women. I just never thought he'd do this. Any advice on how to get through the first couple days after finding out? I feel like I'm going to throw up. Update. Update to I just found a credit card statement with hotel charges from a night he was supposed to be working. Quick background, I found a credit card statement in the mail that had hotel charges, Tinder charges, and charges from a town an hour away proving that my husband had lied multiple times about where he was. Also, we're a military family. I found the credit card statement on a Saturday morning a literal hour before his dad and stepmom came to visit for a week. Luckily, I'm an accountant during tax season so I was able to get out of a lot of activities due to work. Anyway, the day after I found the statement, my husband and I were alone and I told him that I really want to make our marriage work for our son and, and if there was anything at all he wanted to tell me then we could work through it but he had to be honest. He looked me straight in the eye and said no. I asked him what the $400 credit card payment from his bank account was for and he got angry and told me that I was too financially controlling. So on Monday I had an appointment with a divorce lawyer but she wasn't super helpful. She told me I just need to go through base legal and that my state is no fault so there was no point in gathering more evidence or hiding what I had found from my husband. I wanted him to feel even one one hundredth of the way I felt when I found that credit card statement so that night when I got home, right before we were supposed to have dinner with his parents so he had no time to respond, I whispered to him that I found the credit card statement, and that I had a divorce lawyer. It was really satisfying to watch him have to sit through dinner and act normal. But when we were finally able to talk about it he told me that I had driven him to do it and that he never saw this being a forever thing anyway not sure why he married me and had a baby with me then. I guess he realized how ridiculous that was because he completely changed his tune and said there was something wrong with him, maybe this could be a low point for him, hell get therapy, etc. But it's been two months and I haven't seen any concrete actions from him. We are still living in the same house for now but he sleeps on the couch. I don't know, I feel really stuck. I don't want to be a single mom but I don't want to be with him. I told him the other night that I'm not in love with him anymore but he still acts like we're trying to make it work, and I just go along with it because it's easier. When our lease is up in May I will have to figure something out. I kind of feel bad posting here because he wasn't having an affair. But since Hess come back from deployment in July these are the things I know Hess done, gotten multiple massages that I can't prove had happy endings but he got out cash for them and hid them from me so I can only assume, Hess messaged ex-girlfriends and other women asking for nudes she was nice enough to send me a screenshot, he had a Tinder profile and was actively trying to find someone to bring back to his hotel room but says he never found anyone. He did admit to buying scene thems though. It makes me wonder what has done that I don't know about and if he was ever faithful to me. We were long distance before he came back from deployment so he could have been hiding things from me easily. I feel like my whole marriage is a lie. Anyway, that was supposed to be a quick update but it got pretty long. Thanks for reading, quick edit even though this post is pretty old and no one will probably see this. 
Someone mentioned rug maps to me and it made me remember this credit card charge I could never figure out. It was from Remaps Pay and nothing was coming up on Google. I now know for sure that he was paying to look up reviews for S Time Workers. I'm glad I made this post because I'm so disgusted now and I want him gone. Update, sad update to the finding a credit card statement in the mail story. I think this post might need a trigger warning for abortion. You can read my whole story in my profile but TLDR my husband was definitely on Tinder and rub maps and buying hotel rooms, but won't confess to anything else, although I have every reason to believe he physically cheated. I found out I was pregnant after D-Day. When I told my husband I could just see it in his eyes that he was ecstatic. I think he thought that one, I wouldn't divorce him now and two, his past actions would be forgotten in the preparation for a new baby. I think I might get some hate for this but I just couldn't do it. I ended up terminating the pregnancy at 7 weeks. He is so pissed at me. He thinks I must have cheated and gotten pregnant with another man's baby and that's why I did it. He literally can't comprehend why I wouldn't want a baby with him. I feel so guilty. Sometimes I feel like I did the right thing and sometimes I feel like the worst person ever. These past couple months have broken me. I hired a lawyer and got a separation worksheet but I'm too depressed to fill it out. I even stopped working out which used to be my favorite thing to do. The only thing keeping me going is my one-year-old son. Anyway, I really appreciate having this sub as a place to tell my story. Thank you to everyone who reads this. Maybe someday I will have a happy update for you all. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. Not commenting on your decision. Always your body your choice regardless of circumstance. A. You don't want to have a kid with a man who would cheat. Tinder is to me emotional cheating with intent for physical at the least. B. He doesn't deserve to have you as the mother of his child. Much love from me in the community. Redditor 2. No one is judging you for this. You are in an incredibly tough situation. Don't be too hard on yourself. Make sure you seek therapy and work on just healing from all of this. Hugs, Redditor3, you made a tough decision for the right reasons. You already have a very young child, and your life is soon going to become very stressful. I'm proud of you for not allowing yourself to be baby trapped. Know this, you will move on. You will heal. You will love again. And someday, when and if you decide you are ready, you'll bring another life into the world. Redditor 4, I'm so sorry. I can only imagine how hard of a decision that was to make. Seems it would be so stressful to bring a new baby into your life at this point. Take care of yourself and your son. Redditor 5, as someone who has lost a baby I understand the pain and loss. I remember feeling like there was no way I could ever feel okay ever again. But I promise you that it does get better and you are much stronger than you realize. This guy is utter trash and you need to cut him out of your life. His opinion just isn't worth a thing do not let a cheating, lying, manipulative loser make you feel any kind of way. Leave and let yourself heal. Good luck. And if you ever need anyone to reach out in here for you. Redditor 6, you made the right decision for you. No judgment here. Best of luck navigating this forward. I am pregnant and D-Day was while 7 months pregnant. It's ruined the whole experience, and I don't even want the baby since she's shrouded in so much negativity. I know that's just the emotions speaking, but I wish I had found out earlier. Op answer, I'm so so sorry. Finding out at 7 months pregnant would be devastating. Please feel free to message me if you ever need to talk, I mean that. The first couple months are going to be rough but it will get better from there, I promise.